Hi Libra, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your reading. So uh, this is your reading. Uh, it's a love reading and a general reading. Now what I've decided to do is um, put three readings into one now. So you've got a reading for couples or those of you who are attached to someone. The second reading is a single love reading for all of you Librans who are, uh, you know, single. And the third reading is a five card general message reading. Okay. So, um, look in the description bar below to see what time the single reading starts because you're going to start with couples. Those of you who are attached to someone, then we're going to go on to single. So look where the single reading starts from in the description bar. It'll tell you the time it starts from if you, that's the only one you want to have a look at. And then, you know, if you want to see what the general message is, then have a look at that at the end. Okay. So universe spirit, show me what's coming in for Librans for love in March, 2018. Those Librans who are, uh, coupled up or attached to someone in some way, what's coming in for love for Librans? Show me Librans and love in March, 2018. Librans, those who are, uh, coupled up or uh, those of you who are, uh, 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 attached to an individual. What's coming in for love? Show me. All right, we're going to split the deck into three. One, two, three, four, not three, four, three. Uh, collecting that back up and let's have a look. So uh, I think that you're putting some effort. Some of you guys are focusing on putting hard work and effort into the relationship. The Eight of Coins is all about putting hard work and effort because you've got to, you're trying to work towards a goal basically when you get the Eight of Coins. And this is about putting the work in. So some of you guys, the focus might be on putting the work into a relationship. Uh, it's because your challenge is the Eight of Wands. It might be that you're at a distance from a lover. The Eight of Wands is usually a card that represents long distance travel or you're at a distance. So it might be a long distance relationship some of you guys are involved in. And the root cause of you putting the effort in as well is the Eight of Cups now. The Eight of Cups might be that there's been some emotional distance in this relationship, I feel, with the Eight of Cups energy. Somebody might have distanced themselves a little bit. They might be looking for something else, or there might simply be just some emotional distance due to the Eight of Wands being kind of a long-distance relationship. Maybe you're on opposite sides of the world from each other, or, you know, you live hours and hours away from each other, that type of thing. And I think that, you know, in the recent past, justice so you've experienced justice so it might be that uh, as a result of the eight of cups maybe something's culminated here because the recent past card should show as a result of the distant past or the root issue so it might be with the justice card you've found that there's been the necessity and also this is your major card so this would be you on the card libra maybe you've found the need to try and balance out this situation especially if the adjective is saying there's emotional distance rather than literal uh, literally somebody walking away i think if the root issue is about somebody walking away then it's with the ju ju justice card you guys as justice libra trying to make a decision whether this is the right thing or the wrong thing to do and the most likely outcome for love for you guys who are in a couple or maybe you know you're attached to someone is going to be the seven of swords so the seven of swords i wouldn't read this as being a card of deception i would say that the seven of swords is about finding a shortcut uh, seven of swords can also be lost though because when you get the seven of swords it's a theft card so it represents something being lost might be but it can also be the seven of swords using your smarts using your intellect finding a way around a problem because the seven of swords is all about finding a solution to a problem coming in what you're going to experience is the queen of pentacles okay so this could be the person that you're involved with if this isn't the person with the queen of pentacles energy it could be somebody else it could be that you meet someone else with that queen of pentacles but the queen of pentacles is an energy can still read as you libra and it could say for some of you guys what you're looking to try and do is assess whether this is a relationship that you truly want to invest in because the queen of pentacles can say is there potential within this relationship to move forward with that queen of pentacles energy you guys right now are the knight of pentacles i think that you're very committed the knight of coins often shows somebody who's committed to a long-term goal so i think that you guys are probably very committed to this situation um influence is coming in though is the ten of swords so ten of swords could say that there's an ending coming in for you guys ten of swords can also speak about a betrayal or feeling defeated and feeling that there's no way out the hopes would be well, the fear is the tower. The tower is that this relationship is completely gone. It's too unstable. It's too rocky. There's not enough stabilized energy to keep the relationship going. And the outcome shows the two of coins. I think the two of coins is really talking about this relationship being rocky and the need to weigh 
different things up. I think that the outcome is going to be you guys needing to weigh up whether this is something that you can continue in or not, because that's what the Two of Coins is. It's an unstable situation, and it says needing to try and create balance. Let's have a look at why you guys, uh, Libra, are the Knight of Coins. Why is Libra showing as the Knight of Coins in this love reading? Why is Libra showing as the Knight of Coins in this love reading? Show me. Well, I feel that you are very committed to trying to support this situation, support this individual with the Five of Coins energy, because the Five of Coins isn't always about abandonment. Uh, the Five of Coins can also show, you can see there's two people on the card, Libra, so the two, Five of Coins says that when, you know, for good or for bad, you're, you're supporting an individual, even if the relationship is difficult, even if the relationship is unstable and insecure, the Five of Coins can show the need to support someone or support a situation, even in the rockiest of times, and I feel that you have shown a commitment towards supporting this individual, the Five of Coins energy, even through the most difficult of time. I think you've committed to seeing this relationship through thick and thin because the root issue is about the Eight of Cups and let's have a look what shows with the Eight of Cups energy. Well, I feel that the Eight of Cups is, uh, the root issue is about taking a break. I think that some of you guys have been taking a, a break to try and find the truth. The Ace of Swords is all about trying to find the truth. And it's all about trying to find that great piece of insight that lets you know what direction you need to take. So I feel that you guys have, with the Eight of Cups, uh, the root issue is about one of you, you or the other individual, taking a bit of a break. Because Eight of Cups is a pip card, so it can show somebody who takes a break. Not always that they walk away. Sometimes they walk away. Sometimes they don't. Okay, so I just feel that, uh, you know, uh, the, the root issue for you guys is that somebody, this could be you or this could be the other person is on a break right now, trying to search for the truth in this relationship with the Ace of Swords. Also, it could be with the Eight of Cups, somebody has detached themselves from the relationship. Might be that they've detached themselves from communication. Ace of Swords is all about communication. And you can see that the Eight of it's really funny when I look at these two cards together because the head is pointing in another direction from the Eight of, Eight of Swords. So it might be that also that you, what you're dealing with is, is somebody who's avoiding communicating, somebody who's avoiding looking at the truth of the matter, somebody's not facing up to what the truth of the situation is in the relationship. And I feel that as a result of that, you guys have experienced justice in the recent past. Um, it might be that you've experienced, when you get... Uh, the justice card this can be rewards and but the the knight of wands would represent for me something that was possibly short term short term rewards or i just get the impression that somebody and i don't think it's you i think that somebody's avoiding the truth or they're avoiding communicating with you libra and i think as a result of that you guys might have found your justice you might have found your rewards with the justice energy showing here in terms of maybe searching for other forms of pleasure or other forms of fulfillment with the knight of wands some of you guys might have found your resolution in a knight of wands somebody who came into your life for example might have been in a short-term relationship could have been a one night stand that type of thing with the knight of wands energy uh might be that some of you guys have a decision to make as to whether you move on with the Knight of Wands energy. Uh, your challenge is this Eight of Wands energy showing up here. So the Eight of Wands are... Um I think your challenge is communicating with somebody who's emotionally unavailable. Now, I haven't put any reversals in this deck. There aren't any reversals in here. There shouldn't be. And yet we've got a King of Cups showing up as the reversed uh, Libra. So that's interesting because I haven't actually put any reversals this time into this deck for the readings this month. I wanted to see what came out this month without reversals. So I think that this is about communication or this is distance. I think your challenge is for some of you guys, it's either a, a long to a long distance relationship with somebody who see, it doesn't seem to be emotionally receptive or emotionally you know, uh, available, which is what the King of Cups is. The King of Cups in the reverse shows a certain lack of emotional availability in a relationship. Somebody who seems to be emotionally redundant or non-receptive or cold or distant. And I think that your challenge might be communicating with the Eight of Wands with such a person. Or it might be that you're at a long, you know, you've got a long distance relationship with a King of Cups in the reverse. And I feel that as a result of that, the focus for some of you guys will be about putting some effort into this relationship. The Eight of Coins are working uh, towards of finding a goal or a solution here. I think that you're working towards breaking down somebody's 
barriers because you've got this eight of pentacles but it's working towards by breaking down i'm getting somebody who's working on trying to break down you can see the eight of coins is like chipping away chipping away chipping away it's almost like you're chipping away at somebody's defenses or somebody who seems to put up a, a massive boundary so i get the impression that you guys are trying to work towards chipping away at somebody who's put up a huge boundary and i think this four of coins individual in the center of the reading libra is the king of cups reversed i think it's the same person this person king of cups in reverse does put up emotional barriers and so does the four of coins individual the most likely outcome for love therefore for those of you who are uh, coupled or attached to someone is going to be the seven of swords let's have a look what shows with the seven of swords energy well um i feel that, that it could be loss coming in for some of the most likely outcome is the seven of swords energy um you know you can read tarot in an am um, amalgamation of ways and you've got to think about how do you feel about the cards what do they say to you well you know the seven of swords is about avoidance sometimes and i think that this person is running away from the queen of swords energy showing here because i feel that you guys are working towards chipping away at somebody who's put their barriers up against you libra but i feel that the most likely outcome will be that this uh, seven of swords is the card about avoidance as well so i think that the most likely outcome is somebody who's going to avoid with this queen of swords queen of swords can be where you cut a relationship but it can also be where you've got clear honest communication in terms of trying to heal a relationship and i think that the most likely outcome is somebody who's trying to avoid with that seven of swords trying to heal this relationship communicate honestly with the queen of swords energy i think somebody's trying to avoid communicating honestly with you and i feel that coming in you're going to experience the queen of pentacles energy um there's two women showing up here so libra these could be friends uh, but the two of the, the uh, two queens can represent gossip or enemies but there's two women showing up here that you're going to experience coming in. If you're a man, it might be other options. If you're a female and you're heterosexual, it might be two friends around you. And these would be probably the two most helpful queens in the tarot. Because the Queen of Pentacles is able to help you to uh, acknowledge your situation. She's actually able to bring a great deal of common sense to the situation. And the Queen of Cups is terribly, terribly intuitive. So she's able to shed some light through counselling, through helping. And I think that you've got two people coming in who possibly want to give you so, and you've got a third queen as well. You've got three queens showing up here. Three queens showing up here. So I think there's a friendship coming in here with these three people. Okay. But also, I don't think it's that. I don't even think it's friendship. I think, because you've got the nine of wands. I wanted to pull another card. And... Uh, I think that you've got three women showing up here that some of you guys are very wary of because you've got a nine of wands showing there and you can see the nine of wands is looking towards all three queens. To me, Libra, this looks like you're very wary because you think that this person is not being honest with you. I think that this person is not being honest with you and I think that you feel that this person is not being honest with you because I see uh, for some of you guys who are committed, you're very committed towards uh, supporting the person who seems to be emotionally unavailable and I feel it's because the root issue is this person is avoiding. They're trying to divert from uh, telling you the truth because the Eight of Cups is walking straight past that Ace of Swords. So for me this person is trying to avert the truth. They're trying not to have to tell you the truth and I think in the recent past as a result of that you guys have made a decision with the Justice card to probably go out and have some fun. It might be that you've made a decision to move on from the, from the situation because the challenge is communicating the Eight of Wands or communication coming from somebody who's emotionally unavailable. This King of Cups in the reverse. This King of Cups in the reverse can show somebody who's got addictions. They've got all sorts of problems. They're hiding a lot of stuff. And I feel that as a result of that, the energy will be around you guys trying to chip away at somebody who seems very, very resistant, I feel, with the Four of Coins, or you're trying to chip away at what somebody's hiding, because the Four of Coins can show somebody who's hiding and they're very private. So I think that you're trying to chip away at somebody's privacy. This person who, you want to know what the hell's going on here, Libra, I feel, for the month of March 2018, and you're very committed to trying to support this individual. But as a result of that, you're focused on trying to chip away at somebody who's holding things back from you. But I feel that the most likely outcome is this person's going to avoid telling you the truth with the Queen of Swords. They're going to avoid being up straight, um, being up front with you. They're going to avoid what you want. You are the Queen of Swords, I think, here. And you're putting your hand out there and you're saying, give me the truth. But this person is avoiding. 
And also I feel that this person's probably doing something behind your back because the Seven of Swords is behind the back of the Queen of Swords and you're the Queen of Swords that wants the truth. But I feel the most likely outcome is this person's being deceptive. They're trying to get away with something behind your back. And that's why I feel that coming in, you guys are going to be very wary with that Nine of Wands energy, Libra, around three queens. You're going to be thinking that this person's dealing. And it's funny that it's shown, it's not shown the Three of Cups. It's shown the three queens. So it's probably people that you already know as well because they show up so clearly. Uh, one could be an earth, one a water and one a fire sign, female or male. But you guys are very, very wary that this person's doing something with three other people, maybe even more. What you're going to experience coming in is the Ten of Swords showing up here. So this is a card about rejection, defeat, backstabbing. Um... I feel that you guys are going to experience, I'm sorry to say, some betrayal here as this person seems to put their barriers up against you with the Seven of Wands. Because I think that this is the person who's putting their barriers up against you and I feel that this is you guys feeling defeated with the Ten of Swords. So I feel that you're the ones that are going to be feeling defeated by somebody who's put their barrier up. They've shut you out, I feel. And your fears of the Tower, I feel. It could be a hope, but let's have a look what shows with the Tower card showing here. Well, you've got the Magician here. Um, and the magician is all about a new beginning. So it might be the hope is that the tower, that this could be, you've got two majors energy showing up here. So the tower is all about something unexpected. And it might be the hopes are that something unexpected will come in, bringing with that magician something that's good, something that manifests in a very positive way. However, the outcome shows the two of coins. And let's have a look at why the outcome is the two of coins for you Librans who are in a coupled up or in a relationship or attached in some way. Well, I almost feel like you guys are giving somebody... It's really interesting that we should have these energies in the outcome. And I'm not sure whether this is your energy in the outcome or if it's theirs. Because I feel that you're certain or you're very wary that this person's messing around with three other people. A Queen of uh, Pentacles, Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands. So I think you're very wary that this person's messing about with, with others. Because the most likely outcome is that they're doing something, I believe, behind your back. I think for some of you guys, somebody's doing something behind your back. They're getting away with something behind your back. And you're wary coming in that there are three other people. There are other individuals involved in the situation. You're going to experience the Ten of Swords. And I feel that this is more about feeling defeated because this person seems to have blocked you out with the ten, with the Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands energy. Sorry, the uh, Seven of Wands energy. I think the Ten of Swords isn't betrayal. I think it's you guys feeling defeated because this person seems to have blocked you out. They've got their defences up against you with the Seven of Wands energy. But I don't know what this is because you've got the Two of Pentacles as the outcome. And for me, this is almost like you guys weighing up something here or going... Because the Two of Pentacles can be going with the flow. But if it's their energy, this person's energy, I think that this person is playing you in the outcome with the Two of Pentacles. Maybe playing the field with the Two of Pentacles makes this person feel happy. So if you're feeling rejected with the Ten of Swords or feeling defeated that this person's rejected you with the Seven of Wands, I feel with the Two of Pentacles, it could be if it's their energy that they are happy playing the field, showing up here. Or it could be, for example, you take a gamble. But nowhere in the reading can I see that this person is actually coming back and saying something to you. That's what bothers me. Because I can't, I can see you being scared of three other queens, Libra. But I can't see the influences coming in saying this person comes back and makes some recompense. And then it would make sense to me to say, well, you take a gamble with the two of pentacles. And this brings happiness and satisfaction with that nine of cups and the ten of cups. Maybe you'll feel, well, if I just play the field, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll find a great sense of satisfaction in this relationship. Maybe if I just go with the flow. So I just feel the Two of Pentacles is you guys going with the flow, bringing happiness. But it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right that this would happen. Some of you guys, are, I think that some of you guys, what the cards are trying to say is that some of you guys... Um, go with the flow. I think that you're ignoring something here. I think that you're so involved in trying to make somebody be something that you'd like them to be. You kind of ignore what's going on. Because I do feel that with the Ten of Swords, you're going to be feeling defeated. 
that this person seems to be rejecting you or pushing you out with the seven of wands and it's almost like the overall outcome from those areas because i can see that you guys there's three queens around you coming in and you're going to be really nervous on on edge about three people around you and you've got influence is coming and you're going to be feeling very defeated that somebody's blocking you out but the outcome is with the two of coins it's almost like you resign yourself with the two of coins it's almost like you decide you decide with the two of pentacles or you weigh up you know well maybe i could just be happy in you know with the nine of cups in just just going along with the flow within the relationship it doesn't feel right to me whatever it is that you guys are doing for you coupled up people it doesn't feel right it feels like you're ignoring a situation yourself it's, it's almost like you don't want to face up to something by the end of may 2018 it feels too much of a happy outcome from what I can see from the other cards. I think that you're kind of ignoring something for some of you guys by the end of March 2018. You're ignoring your fears, I think. I think you've got some real fears going on there and real concerns. But it's almost like by the end of March 2018, I see you guys ignoring that. Let's have a look for you singles, what's coming in. Okay, so... I think there's definitely somebody who's, well, I can't say definitely for sure, but I certainly feel with that Seven of Swords behind the back of the Queen of Swords. I don't like that energy. I don't like the way that looked at all. And the fact that, you know, in the reading, somebody's trying to avert communication, I feel, with you. Some of you guys as well. They're trying to avert telling you the truth. Or they're trying to avert uh, Eight of Cups being found out with the Ace of Swords. Universe Spirit, what is the uh, coming in for um, Libra? I hope I didn't call you Aquarius, by the way. What is coming in for Libra? Single Librans in uh, March 2018. What's coming in for single Librans uh, love-wise in March 2018? Show me. One, two, three. Let's click those back up. Okay. Right, there is a King of Cups around you guys, okay? So this is somebody you probably already know, and it's funny because he came out reverse for the other readings. I'm not sure if that's got anything to do with it. But there's a person around you, a King of Cups. Uh, the challenge is the Five of Coins. Some of you guys, it might be that you were abandoned by this person. It might be that there's been some distance with that Five of Coins. The root issue, the reason why this person's showing up is because of the Ten of Cups. So I think that you guys experienced real happiness with this individual. But it might be in the recent past the world card that this has come to a close with the world. Most likely outcome sees some of you guys walking away with the Eight of Cups. Coming in, you're going to experience there's another individual coming in. Um, Libra, a King of Swords. I don't believe that's you. I think it might be another air sign or it's just another person coming in. Should be intelligent, witty, clever, that type of thing. Uh, could work in a, you know, a high fluting job, that type of thing with the King of Swords. Uh, you guys right now, a judgment, okay? So I think that you have done a lot of thinking with the judgment energy uh, on this individual. Judgment energy, you're showing us, but you're showing us being released or you're showing us having an awakening around an individual with the judgment energy showing there. Coming in, what you're going to experience with this King of Swords is an offer of love, the Knight of Cups. Hopes of the Ace of Swords to find the one, to find your soulmate, to have the breakthrough. Strength is nice. I think it's a nice outcome because I think you're going to find strength or you're going to find some semblance of peace with this King of Swords coming in. I want to see why you guys are judgment. Why is, um, why is Libra showing us judgment? Why is Libra showing us judgment? Why is Libra showing us judgment in March 2018? Show me. Okay. I think that you guys have come to a place of, uh, I think there's awakening here with the judgment energy and I think it's brought you to a place of peace. I think with the uh, with the Queen of Cups, you you know, when you get the Queen of Cups, this is somebody who does a lot of inner reflection. So when the Queen of Cups appears in a reading often, she's doing a lot of um, emotional introspection on a situation. She's trying to heal herself. She's trying to heal the situation. And I feel that this judgment, this awakening has brought a great deal of healing to you, uh, single um uh, Librans with the Queen of Cups energy. Um, the root issue is the Ten of Cups. 
So the reason that everything is happening is in the past you had the Ten of Cups showing up here. Uh, but I feel there was problems in a relationship. So the Ten of Cups is the relationship, but the Eight of Swords for me tells me that there was limitations and problems with the Eight of Swords showing here. And I feel some of you guys might have felt trapped in a relationship. And I think in the recent past, or this King of Cups felt trapped, and I feel that in the recent past you've experienced... Uh, the world. So we're just going to have a look at why you've experienced the world in the recent past. So why has uh, Libra experienced the world in the recent past? Um, I mean, you know, the world and the Hierophant. So, uh, you know, the, for me, these are two big energies. And I don't want to keep using the world, the ending of a phase, maybe in terms of a commitment with the Hierophant. Because I, I would have imagined something like death would have shown there, or maybe tower or something like that. The world for me, it feels, um, it feels more that it's about uh, coming to a place of recognition. Uh, the world means to be worldly wise. Uh, also, there's all sorts of words we can use with world. We can use success, achievement. We can use the ending of a phase, a new phase. Um, it might be that, that a new phase is coming in terms of the world energy in which you are recognising with this Hierophant a great deal of inner guidance that you need to rely on to move your way through with the Hierophant energy. Uh, but I feel that, you know, uh, as a result of that, your challenge is the Five of Pentacles. And let's have a look at why your challenge is the Five of Pentacles energy. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel that you guys have been distant. Um... You've got the challenge being the Five of Coins because of the Ace of Cups. So I feel that there has been uh, an abandonment in terms of love here. I feel that there's been a great deal of distance in terms of, um, in terms of one's heart being open, maybe to a new beginning, maybe to new love. But, you know, you've got the Five of Coins here. And when I look at the Five of Coins, what I'm seeing is the Ace of Cups facing it. So it's offering some form of respite to this uh, Five of Pentacles energy. If you look at the Five of Pentacles, they're out there on their own. They're uh, uh, they're going through the cold. They're, uh, there's a great deal of distance. Often this card shows us feeling left out in the cold. Okay, but um, the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups usually represents being offered something or healing with the uh, with the Ace of Cups energy. Um, but I think somebody's been very reluctant to heal a relationship. I had to pull another card because it didn't quite gel for me the whole meaning thing with the cards so i feel that the challenge is that there's been abandonment within the relationship and i feel that healing this somebody has been very reluctant to do that with that hanged man energy showing there and i think as a result of that the energies around you or what you're focusing on is a king of cups energy and let's have a look what shows up with the king of cups showing here well the uh, the King of Cups and the Tower. So I feel the energies around you are, with this individual, there is definitely, I feel, a breakup. I feel that there is a breakdown in terms of energy with this uh, Tower energy. Uh, we do have a man here who is emotional. Um, the Tower can also be a card about um, releasing. Or it can be a card where somebody is telling you something or they are revealing something. So it might be that there is a King of Cups revealing something to you with the Tower. Because sometimes when you get these two energies, somebody's coming back in and they're telling you something. So it might be as a result of that, the King of Cups uh, Libra is telling you or they're confessing something to you or they're releasing something to you showing up here. Um, But I think the energies are, I just picked another card, I just want to see what other card with it. I think that this person here, revealing their emotions with that tower energy, I think that they might be in a dilemma about that. I think somebody's in a dilemma as whether they want to reveal something to you. And as a result of that, I feel that the outcome is going, the most likely outcome is the Eight of Cups. And this is all about walking away. Yeah, you got the Six of Swords here. So I think that some of you guys are going to walk away and move on. Because I think that there is somebody around you. And I think that there is, with this Five of Pentacles, there's, in your challenge position, there has been distance in a relationship. And I feel that trying to heal it with the Ace of Cups, because the Ace of Cups is all about healing. So it's almost like when I look at the Ace of Cups facing into the Five of Coins, it's also about trying to heal the distance in the relationship but with the Hanged Man somebody's taking their time to do it so they're putting this on hold it's all in limbo it's all up in the air and i feel that that's why there is a person around you who uh with the two of swords is in a little bit of a dilemma as to whether they should contact you with the tower whether they should speak to you whether they should reveal how they feel about the situation
situation. And I feel because they don't, for some of you single people out there, you'll have no choice as more than likely to walk away and move on from the situation. Coming in, you're going to experience a King of Swords energy, uh, Libra. And let's have a look at who this King of Swords is potentially showing up here. Well, I've seen a man or a woman here, and there's going to be a deep attraction, I feel, with this devil energy i feel that this person uh is very seductive with this devil energy i'm seeing a man or male or a female even though it shows as a man it can still be a female so i feel that there is a person showing here and i feel that this person is going to be very alluring it might be that i don't see because you don't know them so i think it's somebody that's coming in who's going to be very alluring you're going to have a very deep attraction with this individual and what you'll experience coming in is the knight of cups showing up here and the knight of cups is all about opening one's heart yeah and this person will want to offer their heart to you i see you as being the the empress here they're going to offer can you see how the knight of cups offers to the empress so this person will want to open their heart to you okay they'll want to offer you the empress they'll want to offer you beauty they'll want to offer you love they'll want to offer you nurturing they'll want to be kind to you they'll want to support you and your hopes will be the ace of swords and let's have a look at what shows with this Ace of Swords. And I think it's personally to find, you know, that you found the right person uh, with that Ace of Swords. So, so I think that the, uh, the hope will be with the Ace of Swords. You've had your breakthrough, okay? You've finally achieved victory with somebody who is stable and trustworthy and honest in the Emperor energy. Because I'm seeing the King of Swords as being the same as the Emperor. And, you know, this breakthrough bringing a sense of stability to your life with the Emperor energy. And the outcome shows a strength. I think that you have strength in this new direction. I don't see you guys moving on with the Knight of Wands, really. I, because Knight of Wands is chasing strength as well. So I feel that you guys here, the overall outcome is that you're going to experience a great sense of inner confidence. I feel with the Knight of Wands in moving forward in this relationship, in taking a, a leap of faith, in taking a risk. Because remember, the Knight of Wands is all about taking a risk. So I feel that you guys will be fairly confident that you want to take a risk uh, with this relationship, with that Knight of Wands energy and really commit yourself emotionally i feel with the six of cups cups six of cups six of cups but also the six of cups is about the past so the knight of wands is rushing out of that six of cups and he's leaving it behind so i think that you guys will have the strength to move forward in this relationship to take a risk and leave behind and move away from the six of cups okay move away from the past because I do feel that you guys have done a lot of introspection with the just. We're going to do this reading quickly again for you, single uh, Librans. I think that with the judgment card, you guys are showing as judgment. You have been released from a situation. You've made a judgment on it. You've had your awakening, and I think it's brought you a sense of peace, and it's brought you a sense of healing with the Queen of Cups energy showing here. Because the root issue is there was a relationship. I think that had a lot of problems and limitations with the ten, with the Ace of Swords, and I feel that as a result of that, you guys have come to a conclusion that you need to, I feel, uh, rely with this Hierophant energy on your intuition and on your inner guidance because uh, this relationship, the challenge is that, you know, there's been distance, I feel, with the Five of Coins energy and I feel that healing this distance or healing the problems within this relationship, somebody is reluctant to do that with the Hanged Man and that's why the energies around you are going to be an individual that you were involved with, uh, Libra. This King of Cups could have been a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, doesn't have to be though. There's an individual that you were involved with and I think that this individual is in a bit of a dilemma with the two of swords in you know expressing themselves to you with the tower or this person here expressing themselves it might be something that they've blocked out or they're saying no to at the moment with the two of swords energy and i feel as a result of that you'll have no choice so if you guys but to walk away from the situation and move on to something better I'm seeing a person coming in, I'm not going to call them abusive or anything like that, but I feel there's a person coming in as somebody you're going to be deeply, deeply attracted to. And I feel that this person will offer, some, some, sometimes this is marriage, the Empress, but it's too soon if you're single. So I think that this person is going to offer you a new beginning with the Empress. I think that this person is going to offer their love to you as the Empress, somebody who's beautiful, accomplished, someone who they see as being someone that they could potentially move forward uh, with. And I feel that your hopes would be, well, the Ace of Swords, a breakthrough. The Ace of Swords in terms of having someone who is stable and secure, but also a breakthrough in terms of finding someone that you can build a life with 
something you can build that stability with. And I feel that you guys will experience a sense of inner confidence with the strength energy as you move away with the Knight of Wands from a past relationship with the Six of Cups energy showing there. Very interesting reading showing up here. So, yeah. I feel that, yeah, this is, there's somebody new coming in and I think that you guys will be leaving the past behind from an individual. Let's quickly get your um, five card general reading, uh, Libra, and see what's happening here. It was a nightmare having to get all these cards back in. And some of you guys with the strength in the outcome, it might be that you resist with the Knight of Wands moving in too quickly. And maybe with the Six of Cups, you want to build something more grounded with that Six of Cups energy. Let's have a look at what the uh, five card message is for a general reading. Universe Spirit, what's the five card message for uh, Libra? Just a general message. What is the five card message that you have for Libra in this reading? What is the five card general message for the month of March 2018 that you have for Libra? Show me. I think you need to be very cautious. You've got the Seven of Swords, but the Nine of Wands individual is looking on, and he's looking very cautiously towards that Seven of Swords. So I think you need to be very cautious of people who want to take advantage or people who are manipulating you or trying to do things underneath the radar with that Seven of Swords looking towards the uh, Nine of Wands energy. I think you need to be very cautious of that individual, whoever that is around you. Uh, it could be the full new opportunity. Yeah, I think that you need to be cautious around somebody because you've got this fool, a new opportunity could bring some real burdens to you. So I think you need to be cautious around somebody who's not 100% trustworthy with the Seven of Swords. I think this person might present you with a new opportunity, but it could result in burdens with that Ten of Wands especially financially wise with the Queen of Pentacles energy showing there. So I feel that you need to, uh, you've got the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Coins, so I'd say that there's somebody around you coming in, uh, Libra. I don't read this as you, even though it is an air card. I think that there is somebody who is a bit deceptive, and I think that you need to be aware of somebody who's quite deceptive with those energies there, because I think that they're going to present you with an opportunity, but that opportunity will bring burdens, I feel, with the Ten of Wands, and it could be in terms of your home with the queen of pentacles energy in terms of your job perhaps with the queen of pentacles energy or in terms of your savings or your money with the queen of pentacles energy so you know be very careful around people who tell you things are amazing or they make an amazing offer to you because usually if something's too good to be true it usually is and it could result in you having problems in terms of your finances your savings your money your home that type of thing so just be very careful what type of offers that you accept this month all right, that's your reading, Libra. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe, and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.